Welcome to Dibley, or should I say the Vicar of Dibley too. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it's about love. Love at the vicarage. Will the vicar be destined to live alone, or will she find that perfect love? We'll have to wait and see. Oh, it's good to see some old and new faces here tonight. Mostly old, though. Did anyone see the last vicar show? Did you enjoy it? I can't hear you. No, I literally can't hear you. I'm just a recording, remember? You're so silly. Please turn down or turn off your mobile phones. Yes, now will be a good idea. Thank you. Um, if you need to go to the toilet, go to your right, down the corridor, turn right. If you end up in the women's dressing room, you've gone too far. Uh, in case of an emergency, um, please go out the way you came, or to your left, my right, um, or to your right down the stairs. Um, if you end up in the girls' dressing room again, we're going to have to have a chat. Um, Sandgate Theatre is a non-profit organisation. Um, if you'd like to get involved, please just email um, sandgatetheatre at yahoo.com.au. We are a non-smoking venue, so please do not smoke in the building or near the front of the, sh front of the hall. Um, there's a lovely park across the road. Um, our wonderful front of house staff has, has organised a lovely raffle. Um, please purchase as many raffle tickets as you can as it goes to a good cause. My holiday. Last time I had to go to Deception Bay. I know. And this time I want to go to Bali, please. I'm only joking. My name is Danny Cruz. I hope you enjoyed tonight's performance. Please enjoy The Vicar of Dibley 2. Catch you later. Item 6, the naming of the new road. Any suggestions? Oh yes, sir. I think we should call it New Road. <laughs> Brilliant. Not to be confused with the similarly named new road at the other end of the village. Yes, but uh, that's quite an old road now, David. So uh, I thought that we could rename that one Quite Old Road. Not forgetting, of course. Well, that we already had a Quite Old Road. <laughs> yes, I'm ahead of you, David. <laughs> I feared you might be. So I thought that we could rename Quite Old Road really quite old roads now, and so as to leave a gap for any new roads, I thought that we could free up the name of Old Road by renaming Old Road, where I live, Very Old Road. <laughs> or we could just go for Pratt's Lane. Hugo, do you have any a suggestion? Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, I think we should name the new road after the chairman of the council, David Horton Road. Good lord, what a thought. Uh, shall we take a vote? Sorry, I'm late. Uh, where are we up to? Naming of the new road. Oh, good. As long as it's not named after one of us. I really hate that puffy, puffy self publicity stuff, don't you? So, what are the suggestions so far? David Horton Road. Oh, no. And all the name of Holly is no. Actually, <coughs> I agree with the vicar on this one. Very poor idea. Here you go. Personally, I'd rather we named it in memory of someone who is no longer on the council or with us. Someone like my predecessor as chairman of the parish council. Oh, very good idea. Excellent. Uh, <clears throat> let me get this right. Your predecessor being your father's cousin whose name was... David Horton. That's right. All those in favour of naming the new road David Horton Road after my predecessor. Carrie. Right, any other business? Oh yes, I was wondering, did everyone enjoy the village play? Oh, you've got to be joking. I've seen imputations with more entertainment value. Hamlet's supposed to be a dashing young man. Well, they're not as sprightly as they used to be. Sprightly? You spent the second half in the wheelbarrow. I pulled a thigh muscle. Well, I think you did wonderful, Frank. 
except that momentary blip when you're accidentally reversed into a grave, but who would have thought it would only take you 15 minutes to get out? Best bit of the evening. <laughs> Hilarious stuff. I might be sorry more people didn't come to see it. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, yes, the night I went, I was the only one there. Ooh, that must have been very disappointing for the cast. Uh, no, 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 no. They weren't there either. They went on the wrong night. <laughs> Did you enjoy it, David? Hmm, about as much as, as having my nipples pierced. Uh, did you like my speech? Uh, to be or not to be? Very yeah. good. I was rooting for you not to be as soon as possible. Well, I think Frank deserves our congratulations. So well done, Frank. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Oh, yeah. So, is that everything? Oh, well, there is one thing. I'm looking for artists for the new... Parish, the parish news, and so far all we've got is um, just a one piece about David's missing watch. Quite a mystery. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, uh, is this it? Yes, thank you. Right, so what we've got now is some more for the newsletter, and we go to print in three days. All we've got so far is the heading, Hen lays quite a large egg. So, can everyone please contribute something? I could do a review of Frank's play, if you like. Oh, oh, that'd be lovely. As long as I can reuse the word dickhead in the headlines. Oh, maybe I'm not the right man for the job, Owen. Great, we really need stuff. Well, well, it was 550 pieces, but one of the dogs got at it. Oh, good for you. And uh, how much do you think of charging for it? Oh, I thought about 100 quid. Um, it's, it's unique. I, I think it might be a collector's item. Oh, yes. Next Thursday, big white truck. <laughs> oh, OK then. Um, let's type this up, shall we? So, uh, one jigsaw puzzle for sale, partially eaten, and um, what's the puzzle of? Uh, it's a woman with no clothes on, but it's very tasteful. Oh, a page of some sort, a, a rude or Renoir. No, it's a page three girl, but the, the Labrador's eating the knockers. Oh, well, can't you stop reading that stuff? Can't you get yourself a proper girlfriend? Never had a girlfriend. Never even had a proper kiss. Really? No, uh, except for days. But she was a cow, so it doesn't really count, does it? What, you kissed one of your cows? No, the gamekeeper's daughter. Right cow she was. She promised if I gave me gave her all my pocket money, she'd let me feel inside her bra. What, and she didn't let you? you no, know, she did. Trouble was, she wasn't wearing it at the time. Some folks' lives are full of love and tenderness. Other folks never know the gentle touch of human kindness. The sun is out, the sky is blue. There's not a... Cloud to spoil of you, but it's raining. It's raining in my heart. All right. Oh, come on, you big loser. Give us a big kiss then. Really? Yes, but no burping though. Okay, here goes. No! <laughs> Sizzle my sausage. Can I have another? Oh, now what is this? Oh, great. I can have this piece of pork stuck in my tooth. I thought I'd never give it out. Oh, thanks for that. I'll see myself out. Alright. I think he's got one of my fillings. And as long as you've got a glove that comes right up to your shoulder, you can put it right up. Any other business? Look, can we move on? Some of us have got an arm that is urgently needed up a certain sheep's backside. Oh, you flirt. <laughs> Any other business? Oh, yes, yes. Um, I've got a letter here from the BBC religious programme. Um, a guy called Tristan Campbell. They went to want to uh, film songs of praise here at St Barbara's. Oh, heaven preserve us. Oh, not a fan of songs of praise, David. No, I am not. The BBC doesn't care about religion. They only showed it because they promised Douglas Heard that they'd look after Thora in her dotage. 
Chances are they'll have the mayor simultaneously shagging the living daylights out of Lady Chatterley on BBC Two just to keep up their audience share. Uh, no, 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 no. I rather enjoyed Lady Chatterley. Some very useful tips. I beg your pardon? Uh, no, 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 no. Gardening tips. Mellors was the gamekeeper. Oh. Very good at hedge control. I see. And I thought the sex was jolly good fun as well. <laughs> do you want that in the minutes? Uh, no, 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 no. We don't want the vice squad raiding us, do as we? Alright, well, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by two tragic examples of experimentation with hormone replacement, I fail to see what possible interest our, vi our vicarage could be to the songs of praise. Mm, actually, it's a bit embarrassing, really. It says here because the uh, present incumbent is a woman. Oh, I might have known where the sex interest. <laughs> Let's flip over to BBC One, shall we? Apparently the vicar's got a nice pair of knockers. Oh, Jake, I didn't know you'd see my breasts. No, that's not what I meant at all. Oh, look, I do understand your misgivings. I too prefer to leave the television to Felicity Kemble and the other members of the tiny possible bottom club. Bravo! For once we are in total agreement. Songs of praise is shallow, cheapening, and utterly ridiculous. Don't you agree? Oh yes, very cheap indeed. Yes. Utterly shallow. Yeah, totally ridiculous. Right. So shall we take a vote then? All those in favour of letting the morons from TV Land into our church? But it's got to be a hoot, hasn't it? <laughs> Meeting closed at 8.15. Well, come in. <clears throat> oh, Owen. I think this is your filly. Oh, thank you very much. I, I would have given it to you sooner, only I've just passed it. Oh, right. Well, I uh, don't think I'll be putting it in right now, then. Um, is there anything else I can help you with? No, it's that kiss. Ever since that kiss, I've been feeling all churned up. Oh, yes. My tummy's been feeling very dodgy, too. I've decided I needed a woman. Only I don't want to pay for it. And I thought the only way to get a woman is to marry one. So I was wondering. <laughs> oh, for a while ago, oh, I thought you were proposing to me. Oh. I am. Right, I see. I know I'm not much of a cash, but you're not getting any younger yourself, no. are you? Thanks very much. And although I'm not rich, I've got a bit of money, not to mention what I might get for the jigsaw puzzle. I'm not stupid, and I don't expect you to do a lot around the farm. Except, of course, when the cows get the squirts. When they produce it quicker than I can clear it. And then it's all hands to the mop. Oh, that's a lovely image. And I'm pretty sure I can satisfy you in the bedroom. Because, quite frankly, I'm so desperate for it, I could keep going for months on end. Oh, that's very romantic stuff. Now, uh, I don't want your answer straight away, because I, I know you women like to think about these things romantic. You're different from us men. You've got smaller brains. Oh, well, I feel very special. So I'll give you time to think about it, and you can say yes, and make me the happiest man in the world. So see you later, Mrs. Stewart, my little love bucket. Oh, right. Was, was that Mr. Stewart I heard? Oh, yes, I was just asking for marriage. Geraldine, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. And and you're the vicar, you can do your own wedding service. Geraldine, do you take Owen to be a lawful wedded husband? I do. Shut up, shut up, shut up, Alice. I'm not going to marry him. What, what's wrong with him? Well, how long have you got? Well, he's, he's breathing, it smells like nerve gas. And, and that's not lard in his head. Jolly, so it's lard. And, you know, if I was looking for an interesting conversation, well, I'd sooner marry a courgette. He's, I'm sure he's lovely, but I just, I just don't love him. Horrible, Geraldine. You're going to marry someone you don't love. Don't do it. Please don't do it. No, 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 no. I'm not going to. I was just next time I see him, I'll just have to tell him I, I can't marry him. You know. <sighs> Sometimes, you know, being a priest helps you sort of deals with these complex human dilemmas. Mm. Oh God, that was quick. Um, That's him. Yes. 
Right, well, um, as the door, Alice and I must have been adult, mature, grown up, a mature adult. Oh, hello. Oh, Frank Jim. Hi, how can I help? We want to put a notice in the parish newsletter. Oh, lovely. See if you can spot my little joke. Okay. <clears throat> want to go and have a bell ringing? Then come along to St. Barnabas and we'll show you the ropes. Get it? Show you the ropes. It's very funny because it's... Yes. Show you the ropes is in yes. the actual boats that, ropes that the bell rings. Yes, I get it. And it's also show you the ropes as in teaching you to... The ropes of bell ringing. Show you yes, the ropes. Yes, I promise you I do understand. Yes. I, I, I don't understand. Well, you see, it's... No, 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 all right, you two, uh, look, I, I need your help, uh, please sit down, please, um, now you're going to this, think this ghastly, absolutely crazy, but Owen, I've had my arm on this more backside cows, and Jane Terrick, who has asked me, beautiful, sophisticated, vicar of this village, to, uh, marry him. Oh, well done, vicar, off the shelf at last. No, 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 you don't understand, I, I have to turn him down. Oh, you know, and you know, well, you guys know much better than I. Know. I just want to make sure you won't be too upset. You know, yes or no? No, 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 no. Oh, good. You see, he's had so much sorrow and tragedy, a little bit more is not going to hurt him. Sorrow and tragedy? Yes, you know, his brother drowned himself. No, I didn't know that. Oh, yes, it was all over. A uh, girl with some nonsense uh, about she asked him, he, he wanted to marry her, and. Uh, she wouldn't, so he chucked himself in the river. Yes, the Owen's quite different. The Owen takes after his father, and he was a much more cheerful chap. <laughs> Until he shot himself. But you couldn't blame him, because his wife had just left him. And he'd already lost both his parents, because when his mother tried to leave, his father shot her. Oh, well, thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, not at all, Vicar. <coughs> oh, well, come along, Jim. <laughs> Show you the ropes, get it? <laughs> oh, I may as well just top myself and say that I'm little mother. Oh, Alice, what am I going to do? Well, I have had the thought. See, when my mum's got a really serious problem, right? Like, um, oh, like, like she's in the lottery numbers, right? She always has a bit of a drink beforehand, you know, just to calm the nerves. Oh, I don't think so. Oh. No, I don't think I need to drink myself to a stupid ticket stupor. I think I just have to deal with this another way. Um, right. <sighs> you know, being a priest helps you deal with complex human dilemmas, you know. I just have to tell him when I see him and I can't marry him. Oh, well, good. Um, well, I, I best be off because it's a rollover and Mum's probably unconscious by now. Right. Bye. Okay. Right, now I'm thinking clearly. Oh, and I can't marry you, because I'm already married. To Gordon Brown, I never buy that. Um, uh, uh. Oh, and I can't marry you, because I'm already married. Um, no, no, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a woman at all, actually. I'm a red lobster from the planet Neptune. suitable woman out there, a woman who's insatiable with no sense of smell. But that woman isn't me. Promise me you won't be too upset, huh? Well, I don't know exactly how upset I am. Well, not so upset you won't commit suicide or anything like that. I haven't decided yet, but before I do, you must answer me one question. Sure, absolutely anything. Have you been drinking? Oh, maybe I've had a little dropsicle, yes. But if there's one thing I can't stand, it's a woman who drinks. So the answer to your question is no. I'm not upset at all. In fact, I'm grateful for saving me to a marriage to a lush who drinks gin from morning to dusk. And I bid you farewell. 
You revolting old soak. Right, Alice, let the hordes in. Usually, yes. Uh, no, I'm not married and I don't get that much. Right. Well, welcome to our audition. So, uh, can you sing? Uh, no. Um, uh, but I, I'd like to apply for the role of choir master. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Let's see then. Oh, okay. Um, no, just imagine that the, the choir is uh, out here. <laughs> and uh, on three, we sing the scales. La 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 la. Ready? One, two. Three! La 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 oh. Right, excellent, well done. Welcome aboard and you are... Oh, uh, Cecil, uh, can I inquire as to your current size? Sorry? Uh, the choir. Oh, right, absolutely, Neil. We need to rethink our advertising strategy. Oh. Ah, uh, Cecil. Alice. Uh, I'm not married and I don't get out much. Oh. 